you know, in for H and H here. So I reported to the Patreon team members this morning that the Ham Clock software had an update, but it, the server was down. So the server's back up now. It just came up a few minutes ago, and I want to draw your attention. Let me zoom in to there. We go. See the red version number three point zero six. So I received a message earlier this morning from the guy who beta tests uh, the ham clock software letting me know that version 3.07 had been released. And then a few minutes later, before I could even get into the shack uh, to update, the uh, server went down. And it's been down most of the day. Um, it is now 2.39 in the eastern United States. So it's been down since early this morning. Uh, so it just came up a few minutes ago and I'm gonna go ahead now and um, click to do the update. So I'm clicking where you see the red version. Anytime you see the version uh, lit up red, then you wanna click that. And now it's saying new version 3.07 is available, update now, and it's got a, let me zoom out, it's got a 58 second timer going, or 60 second timer, it's counting down. Um, so let's see, I'm going to get it all in the screen there so you can see what the update involves. And we'll let it time out. Add Mercator Pan and Zoom and Robinson Pan, not for the ESP version, that's the HF clock. Uh, add saving and loading two color palettes, PSK Reporter, again that won't work with the ESP, the HF clock. Probably another situation where the processor in the, in the HF clock cannot handle all of this. Um, anyway, you know, read through that and I'll let it time out. A lot of new stuff. The, uh, and the beta tester uh, t told me, and that's uh, G6NHU, I, I guess it's okay that I say that. And he runs uh, one of the best DX clusters. It's uh, uh, dxspider.co.uk. And uh, you can bet that it works with ham clock because he helps test the ham clock software. So there we go. It came up and, oh, let's see. I guess I didn't let it do the update. Let me see there. There we go. All right. Now we'll say yes and um, let it do the update. Now I'm running this. This is the one I have running on the PC. It runs pretty fast. I'm using Ubuntu. I've already talked about that in other videos. The video descriptions also talk about how to do this. Now it moved over to the other screen because it's it's um, restarting, and I always drag it over here. And you can, you can click anywhere to set up, but uh, maybe I won't have to. We'll, you know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, so the um, software has been updated, a few new features added. I didn't see a lot in there that really affects how I use it. But, you know, many people use various different aspects of this software, so uh, there's something in here for everyone. Uh, of course, you see I've got mine on the MUF map, and it returned to the MUF map. The maximum usable frequency, 10 meters, looking great today. I've been working a lot of soda stations. Uh, you see all this right in here in the U.S., uh, especially out this way. A lot of that summits on the air. Actually, I worked one, um, I worked an Echo Alpha, uh, two Echo Alphas. So there were soda stations over in, uh, well, okay, Echo Alpha is going to be Spain. Yep, they were in Spain on 10 meters, 28,340. So uh, they're, they're over in this area here. So 10 meters is hot. I've been getting some 21 megahertz activity. That is 15 meters. It's also great. That's one of my favorite bands ever. Uh, the first band I ever built an antenna for, uh, for HF. But anyway, so there we go. There we get, we did an HF clock update. The server's obviously back up and running and the version number now up there, we see that arrow is now 3.07. I want to insert this into the video in case you didn't get to read the entire list because one of the things that I knew they were testing has to do with, and maybe you've experienced this before, you would, um, for whatever reason, restart your, your ham clock and then you'd get an error, timeout error, it would say you've um, tried to access the DX cluster 10 times in the same hour, that sort of thing. 
and after 10 tries, it knocks you out. Now, one of the things you want to consider doing, especially if you're like me and you have three of these things running, I've got one of each version. This one here running on the PC, I've got one on the HF clock, and I've got it over on the, uh, um, running on the Innovato. Now, interestingly enough, right now, the HF clock and the Innovato have not told me that there's an update available yet. Only the one here on the PC is updated to version 3.07. But back to what I'm explaining, here's another thing you want to consider doing. If you're running two or three versions of this simultaneously, don't put your call sign in the same on every one of them. Do like in my case, N4 H and H, that'll be my login for one of them. N4 H and H dash one, that would be my login for another. N4 H and H dash two, that would be my login for a third unit. See what I mean? So just make sure when you go into the menu and you set your login credentials, uh, you know, you're going to put in, like in this case, um, I'm looking at dxc.w1nr. Let me zoom in. See there? Um, um, this one is set to look at dxc.w1nr.net, okay? And then you put in the port number, usually 7300 or something like that and then um, your call sign for the login. So just be sure if you've got more than one ham clock, you're using your call sign, call sign dash one, dot call sign dash two, however many ham clock programs you're running, like in my case, three different platforms, PC, HF clock, and the Innovato unit, the Quadra. All right, so hey, I hope you enjoy videos on my channel. Uh, please hang around for a half a minute. I want to recognize five of the Patreon team members that I call long haulers. Without them, you wouldn't have seen this video or hundreds of others because without them, uh, this channel would have ended in, uh, in uh, late 2020, not long after it began. Just too expensive to do something like this on your own without some help. So I wanna honor five of those Patreon team members that I call long haulers. They uh, support the channel. Uh, call them paying it forward. They support the channel on a yearly basis and some some are into their third uh, Well, they're yeah three years and beyond now. Thanks again in 73 from in 4 H&H